Today is a Midtown kind of day. We're going to go in and check out Simple. <laughs> oh, there is nothing simple about this. The cool thing about this place is that it is all local stuff. Doughboy's Donuts, which is one of our favorite donut places. Bebo Coffee and Hotch Family Creamery. Um, all local that you can get. You have free time and it's a little bit cloudy. You want to come here. Trust me. Common sense is like deodorant. The people who need it the most never use it. What do you call the irrational fear of chainsaws? What? Common sense. We found him. Look, water made of gold. <sighs> hey guys, I'm Stacy, and we're here at Simple Ice Cream Sandwiches. It's a local business and everything we serve is locally sourced. And what we do is we make ice cream sandwiches with warm donut. So what you gotta do here is you come in and you gotta choose the donut you want, which is warmed up. And they're all from Doughboy's, a locally owned business here in Reno. Um, we usually have so many different options to choose from. Uh, the main ones are glazed maple and chocolate. And then you choose your ice cream to go in the middle, which is also locally sourced in Gardnerville and homemade. Um, and then we put it together and you eat it like a sandwich. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Keep it simple and stay classy. So today is a really important day. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I think all I can really say is that he was someone that fought for what he believed in, fought for what was right, but did it in a very nonviolent way, which I think is an example we should all follow. I love the work that he's done. I think thanks to him, it's a lot better, but there's still a lot of work that we can do to end racism, to end hatred towards other people. So I hope that we can all work together in his memory to continue making his dream a reality. Science! How do I always know to find you at the shops? And in the gift shop, it also doubles as the huge, huge theater, which you can see from the top. Welcome to our exhibit, Space. The station is home to three astronauts, a pilot, mission specialist, and payload specialist for up to six months at a time. Spies are delivered regularly by unmanned Russian progress ships and the U.S. space shuttle. I've got to say, I love little models like this. These are so cool. Spaceship Earth. There are no passengers on Spaceship Earth. We are all crew. That's said by Marshall McLuhan. That's a different way to think about it. We're not passengers, we're crew. Do a better job of taking care of that guy.
think we're being watched. <gasps> This is a black hole. Oh, no. What is this? This is the gravity well, a black hole simulator. So it's showing us what it would be like if something did get sucked into a black hole. Nothing can be, really be transmitted from a black hole, or anything can't really return from a black hole. We don't actually know what happens once you go through other than being torn up. So you end up in another dimension, put back together, and no one knows. In other words, time could stand completely still. Demonstrating a black hole. Dun dun dun! All the planets now! You're like Darth Vader! I am your father. No! This is not a scale model of the solar system. If the sun were the size of a ping pong ball as shown, the planets would be much smaller than they appear here. In the display below, the four giant planets are shown in their correct size if the sun were as big as shown in the exhibit. Unfortunately, the five smallest planets are smaller than we can show on this plaque. For instance, the Earth would be about two-thirds as big as the dot we used. Pluto would probably require a magnifying glass. That's supposed to be Earth. And that's not even, like, correct. The sun would be much, much, much bigger. This large nickel iron meteorite fell in the Quinn Canyon Range about 90 miles west of Tonopah. This girl gets so excited when we go to museums, planetariums, or anything like that. What's up with that? I don't know. Science! This guy. Hey, it could be a girl. Sorry, ma'am. And if you want to touch a falling star in Reno, don't this is the place to go. <sighs> oh, it is pretty heavy. And that, my friends, is a classy bird. All right, guys, thank you so much um, for coming with us to Simple um, Ice Cream Sandwich Shop. Yes, Ice Cream Sandwich Shop. It's one of our favorite places. It's local. Um, it's actually a part of Junkies. We love the business, and we love the ideas that they're trying to promote. Um, very similar to what we're trying to do at Classy Bird Vlogs. We also had a lot of fun going through the planetarium, which the exhibit portion that you saw us go through is actually completely free. If you're in Reno, you come check out the planetarium. So it's really, truly awesome. And I love that we have this available to us. And you, you most of all. Right there, you. You, stay classy. Tweet, 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 tweet. Fun facts about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Via Google. Thanks, Google. Fun facts about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I learned on Bustle.com that the Army Corps of Engineers fixed Martin Luther King Jr.'s sound system when it was sabotaged leading up to his I Have a Dream speech. One more. I read on WashingtonPost.com that Martin Luther King Jr. was a huge Star Trek fan. No! I think that's cool. So we heard earlier today doing this. I don't know why Google's not <laughs> working. <laughs> Google's like, I don't want to talk anymore. I'm done. Google does not want to be on the blog. I'm done, guys. <laughs> okay, well we learned earlier that um, his name when he was born was actually Michael, but he changed it to Martin Luther King because he really wanted to honor the Protestant, what, what, what's the word for? Protestant reformer. The Protestant reformer Martin Luther, and I think that's really cool. I think Martin Luther himself has a really great awesome history, which we could totally talk about another time, but the fact that Martin Luther King kind of believed in him and modeled a lot of his beliefs after him, I think is really, really cool. Martin Luther King Jr. got a C in speech class while studying to be a minister. He got a C. So that just goes to show you that if somebody gives you a bad grade in something, that doesn't necessarily mean you're bad at it because his speeches were amazing. I mean, that's one of the things he's most known for.